Good morning, friends. Good afternoon. <laughs> it's 12.18. I actually didn't go to bed till 5 o'clock this morning because I was up editing, so I edited it. Um, I forgot to do my overnight oats again. Um, I edited the fireball cookie. The dirty 30 cupcakes. And I edited the mud cups. Hi. Hi, good morning. Hi. Hi. Oh my goodness. Oh, I know. It's just such a hard life. It's just such a hard life for the Luna Bee. Yes, it is. Oh, my God. <laughs> Mommy loves the Lunas. Okay. You're finished? The treats. <laughs> you want the treats? There you go. Scoop them out. Hey, Kelly. Right here. Kelly. I don't know where Nix is. Wifey probably has her. so much to do today. I want to clean up. I am going to make a couple more um, cupcakes. And I want to make a couple more cupcakes to take to work. And some mud cups. I saved some worms and stuff. I'm not gonna make many, but <sighs> I brought my clothes down because hubby just laid back down. So I'm gonna get dressed in the bathroom down here, start my laundry and all that good stuff. I actually took my thyroid medicine 5:30 this morning. Oh no, I think I went to bed at six. I think it was six o'clock when I went to sleep. So. My ear is so clogged still. I need to go take my medicine and my and my antibiotic. So I'm gonna go do that. I will see you guys after. Okay, coffee, 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 coffee number two. So I got all my vitamins. I have to take my vitamins. I had to do my vitamin thing and medicine thing. So I need to take my antibiotic. I need to um, I need to take my antibiotic, take my medicine. So I had to reorder the Ashwa, Ashwa, God, whatever the Ashwa. Almost fell. Lena, why are you being such a grouch today? She's so grouchy. Ma'am, do you think you deserve more more treats? Does Luna get more treats? Your tail is whipping so hard at me right now. May I pass? May I pass? Oh. Hi. Hi. Hi, Callie. Oh, the softest kitty in the whole wide world. She gets so jealous. Wow. She's, I don't know. 
Oh, Callie. Oh, my goodness. Did Callie want the trees? Oh, Callie, the sweetest girl. I'm loving Callie. Callie lets me love her. Oh, Callie. Oh. Oh, Callie. Oh, Callie. No, no, no. Don't go up there. Okay. <laughs> Everybody's probably like, no, don't do it. So you know what? I'm going to give Callie some trees. Here, right here, right here. Here. Okay, hold on. You can, I don't care if you eat them like that, but I need, Nixie, come on. I feel like she has the most unique meow. I love Nixie's little meow. What? Here, is it better this way? Okay. She's full rotten. These cats are spoiled rotten. Oh, I haven't heard or seen anything other than in the foodie booty world other than her mocking the mosque I don't know what's gonna happen with this Kuwait arc I don't know I was watching a couple reaction channels and the fact of Pete exposing her I still say Pete's on the spectrum somewhere like not making fun because you know I don't do that. Which is perfectly normal. Like, there are people on the spectrum, and it is what it is, and there are functional people. Obviously, he's functional. But I just think he just doesn't. What is it? Uh, social cues. Do you want a couple more treats? Nixie. Come on. Um, I just don't think he recognizes social cues. I really knows like about social stuff which that's one part of autism but to be fair I don't think foodie booty knows many either to be honest not saying she's on the spectrum but I don't think she really understands social cues so there's that there is that all right Look at my morning pills now. Oh, is that two? Hold on. Oh, no, that's my vitamin C. So, look at all the ones I have to take now. So, that's my antibiotic. And then my normal stuff. I have my vitamin C. I have... What do I take in the morning? Okay, so I have my blood pressure. Okay, so right now I have my antibiotic. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I'm like, what is all this? I forgot. All right, so my blood pressure, my um, cholesterol pill, my antibiotic, my beetroot extract, my dandelion root extract. So now my endocrinologist wants me to take two vitamin Ds in the morning and my vitamin C. I take vitamin C for my immune stuff, so. Mm -mm. So this is my beetroot and dandelion root. Let me tell you, my cholesterol medicines have come down so much. I mean, yes, I am taking cholesterol medicine, but I feel like the dandelion root and beetroot are really helping that. So I just had to order more um, Ashawasha Washaganda. And um, so I ordered, I realized because I when I went to go reorder it, because I get it from Amazon, it's just by the Nature Made brand. 
And um, this is my B12. I take this in the midday at work. Um, the one I was taking, the Nature Made, was only 125. It was like the lowest dosage one. And I was like, I kind of want to bump that up. So I found one at 500 and one at 650. So I was like, I did find one at 450, 500, and 650. And I'm like, which one should I take? But then this thyroid support vitamin came up and it's got the iodine, the selenium, um, like a few others. And I was like, okay, but it also has the ashawash, whatever, but it's only, it's 200. So I was like, okay. So I still got another one, um, which is 125. So if I take that with the thyroid support vitamin, that will be... Um, 325 sorry my mind just totally went blank I'm like what I did like just did not know what was going on so that would be another bump up and then um I got my AirPods upstairs. I kind of wanted them because I told my girlfriend I'd call her today. But yeah. So I don't know. <sighs> so I got that taken care of. And then I only, I forgot to take my calcium like four nights this week last week so I need to make sure I stay on top of that <sighs> all right all right I'm gonna go down start laundry see what kind of mess wifey has for me um I have to do dishes, um, clean up. I want to run the vacuum and stuff, and I know hubby's sleeping, but um, I'm gonna do this now because I'm not gonna probably want to feel like doing it later. So we're getting close to March, y'all. Okay. Okay. So for next week, this upcoming week, Monday, uh, the color is ivory. And it says apples are ruled by Venus and water, which is good for emotional healing. Tuesday, the color is maroon. And of course, Valentine's Day. So that's still fine because I'm wearing like Hmm. I'm wearing red and pink. I do have that pink. I don't know. I already know what leggings I want to wear. And I'm going to wear my little um, thingamajiggy. So. I'll have to figure the rest out. Wednesday. The color is white. Thursday. The color is crimson. Friday is purple. And it says, passion flower ignites spiritual bliss and unconditional love. Saturday, the color is blue. And it says, the sun enters Pisces. And it is the Celtic tree month of ash. And it begins on the 18th. And then on next Sunday, the color will be yellow. Um, and then our little ex excerpt. excerpt expert not expert excerpt says mint sauce lamb is often associated with the feasting of embolic which is coming up that is the next pagan holiday nothing pairs with roast lamb better than a garden fresh mint sauce here's a simple traditional recipe one bunch of fresh mint 
one and a half teaspoons of sugar, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, a quarter cup of boiling water, and a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. It says cut the stems off the mint, roughly chop the mint leaves, pack into a mason jar, add the sugar and salt, pour chop, pour boiling water over the mint, then let cool for 15 minutes. Pour in the vinegar, seal the jar, give it a good shake and refrigerate. Fresh mint sauce can keep for five days when refrigerated. Mint sauce is the perfect condiment for lamb. You can also stir it into peas and mashed potatoes and even add it to split pea and ham hock soup. Makes 10 servings. I am not about lamb. I do not like lamb. Does anybody here like lamb? Let me know down in the comments if you like lamb. I've tried it. Hubby's made lamb chops before and I know it's like a very, like it's a very important pagan food because it like associates like so much but especially with like embolic and the spring and stuff like that but can't get down with it okay so my 15 month forecast so let me say was this November from last year? It is. Oh, gosh. I got suckered into buying this book. Okay. Sunday the 22nd. What? That's January. I'm like, where the heck is February? Okay, so February. Today is... Okay, today is Sunday the 11th, okay, or Sunday the 12th. You may be keen to get away or go somewhere completely different today. A change can be good as a rest, so your brain is primed and ready to take in new information during what is a positive period to improve your knowledge and learn a new skill. Yeah. Yesterday was your planet Mercury is on the move this weekend and your freedom is the buzzword. That's kind of accurate. You might be heading off on your travels or taking part in a workshop or educational course. It is a good time to expand your horizons and plan an adventure for the year ahead. Uh, oh, Friday the 10th. Listen to this. Try to close the door on a matter that's been dragging on over the last few months. Make a final decision today, then try to cut your losses and move on. If you would like to be more ambitious, give yourself a good talking to. That was fucking accurate. That was accurate as fuck. Tomorrow says, so this is all Geminis. This is for us Geminis. You might find it hard to concentrate today. It helps to remember that you're a multitasker at heart. <laughs> at heart. <laughs> So you may find it easier to get more done when you have different jobs or tasks on the go rather than just one project. Hang in there and keep going. So let's see what my Valentine's Day thing is. The moon is in your relationship zone on Valentine's Day, so try to make it a special one. Even if you're single, it's a good day to attend a party or get together. Love and friendship are linked. So try to make the most of your personal opportunities and close connections. Fun stuff. Okay. So there's that. Now I'm going to go do laundry because I'm like, I wanted to just do that and kind of get it out of the way because I do not know how the day is going to go. So we have all of our readings done and our new readings And I gotta go upstairs and get my AirPods, but I don't feel like walking upstairs. Is that terrible? Eh, I'll just go do it. <laughs> What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? I am at Walmart with um, Wifey's best friend, and we are shopping. And I wanted to show you what I am gonna get and what I am gonna buy. Um, 
just in case I can't show you guys later. But these are a death. So these boots are on Clarence and I have been keeping my eye on them forever. Some protein shakes. These um, leggings, I really like the colors of them and the brown suede leggings. So they only had one pair left in the 2X and they're on clearance, so we'll see how it goes. But I'm just kind of cruising through, looking at stuff. Oh, they got St. Patrick's Day leggings, but none in my size. What the heck? This, this is ridiculous. So, like his friend, wife and everybody laid down for a nap. And she's like, do you want to go to the store? And I said, yes, yeah. like, I'll go out to the store. Let's go. So we went out to the one Walmart up the street from me. Don't normally go there, but that one's usually open the latest. So we went there. They had my boots. Okay. They had my boots. They had them in my size. And these were $30, but they were on clearance for 20 but when I rung them up, they were only $5. $5. They were only $5. I was so freaking happy. I am so stoked. I don't care. There are people who be like, how old are you? You're 40-something. I don't care. These are some sassy boots. I can still wear them March, April, May, June. I'll start busting out the sandals, but these were Oh my God. And I put them on and I wore them around the store and they fit me fine and they didn't hurt my feet because I was worried, of course, about my knees. No issues. Okay. Luna, excuse me. I need this. Okay. So these were on the clearance rack, but they actually didn't come up clearance. They are the brown suede-ish looking leggings and I didn't know what size I should get but I got the 2x because it says they're TS coated leggings they were $17 I got the 2x and I know that's going to be too big but this was the only size and only ones that they had the rest of them were like 3x and 4x so I got these so I don't know we'll see how these look and feel so I got those these are these regular price? These were regular price. These were $7.88, but I just absolutely love these leggings for spring. Like, how freaking cute. And I got all my colors covered. And come on, you guys, move. And then look at these. I thought these were so, I think I showed you guys these at the store. These are so pretty. These were regular price as well. But I just absolutely love the colors. I thought they were just so different. And like if I ever need a green, um, hello. So I did get those. And I think I showed you guys, I found a pair of St. Patty's Day leggings. Just got little shamrocks and stuff. So, so cute. I don't even know what the color for St. Patrick's Day is. So I also got some of these. These are like the shelf camis and they have like the bra built in. But these are like kind of, they're very small and they're kind of tight. But that's what I wanted. I wanted them to be like that. So, because I wanted some new camis anyway. So I got a pink. And I got a black. Because these are going to be super tight and that's exactly what I wanted and needed and then all of these what is this oh that's my sexy time so I got two of these these were on clearance as well these were five dollars it's this cute little sweater I got these in a 1x I did try it on with this like little keyhole I don't know how well you can see. You probably see it better on the other one. But it's got like this keyhole neck, but it like sits right here. So it's not like scandalous. But I got the black with the little, you guys probably can't even really see. I just, I'm not digging lights right now. 
and then I got it in this like rusty type color like brownish but you can see this one better so I got it in the black and the brown because cute and then these were only four dollars look how pretty these were these were on clearance look how pretty look at the really pretty colors in these great for spring hello I'm not putting these out yet either because I don't want to wear them yet and then these were like pajama bottoms I was like I don't have any pajama bottoms these were two dollars and they got little coffee cups on them these were like two freaking dollars all this stuff was marked down to like two bucks every single shirt in here I got one in every single color was two dollars these were only two now these are supposed to be nighttime shirts but you know what I didn't care I got them all in 3x because they are short because they are supposed to be nighttime shirts I got a gray two dollars and these are all like um I thought they were just regular shirts I got this burnt like orange color two dollars I got this green two dollars I got a darker gray like it's almost like a black and then I got like this camel-ish type brownish color. Cause it's like, I need more brown stuff. I really do. I got this plum color. And like I said, these are nice and thin, like for springtime, like you would never know these are supposed to be night shirts. Like I thought they were just regular shirts to be honest. And I got a red. Braden trying to be sneaky. So those were only two dollars a piece. That is it. The piece one. Alright, I gotta cut that part out, but yeah. No, no. Oh, you got your love on. Alright. But that's all. I have to go down and get laundry and stuff. Okay, so I just did a small closet purge with my with wifey's best friend. Because technical difficulties. Um she doesn't really have a lot of money and she needed some clothes like she couldn't even like she didn't even want to spend two dollars on a shirt for herself so i did get her a few things but um but i did purge so i can get my new stuff in there and I am going to wrap this vlog up, so please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and as always, please be kind because you don't know what kind of battle someone's going through, so don't be a dick. I love you guys all oh so, oh so very much, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!